Hi everyone, it's Yvette McQueen, MD, a global physician on a mission to educate about health, travel wellness, and disease prevention. So, during the pandemic, if you have to go out, it's been required that you wear a facial mask. So, to stop the spread of the virus for disease prevention, I want to show you the proper way to wear a facial mask. Most of us is are using the flat one, like this. Uh, it's either a surgical mask or it's the homemade mask that's also like this. It has a little pleats in it that lets you fold it out, okay? So, uh, if it's a pre-made surgical mask, you can't tell with the light a lot, but it has a blue front and inside is actually a little bit lighter. That's white. Pull it out a little bit. And it has the strings on it and it folds out and it molds around your face. But also at the top, it has the wire in it that lets it bend around your nose. So when you place the mask on, you place the top one first and you put the string around your ears and you pull it down and that's why it has the folds on it. You pull it down up under the chin. And then you can mold the, the metal clip in there around your nose, okay? And it goes up under your glasses if you wear glasses, as you can see. This is the proper way where the blue is on the outside, the white is touching your face, okay? This is the proper way to wear a facial mask. Now... When you want to take it off, of course, you grab it by the strings, you pull it around, and you take it off here, not touching the outside because that's the part that has been exposed possibly to the contaminants. Now, I've noticed a lot of people out there wearing masks like this. It's not covering the nose. You can still get particles up your nose. It must cover the nose. Don't wear it like this, talking to people, because that's still spreading. Because one of the reasons they want you to wear the mask is because if you're asymptomatic, possibly you have the virus, and as you talk, saliva comes out, spit comes out, you cough, you can spread it. And that's why this is the proper way, whether it's the surgical mask or the homemade mask, to wear it. Now... If you're fortunate enough to have a N95, of course, it's for healthcare professionals. There are different ones. Uh, this is one type. You've also seen them white. Some of them have like a little duck bill to it. So this one, when we're working in the healthcare setting, is usually fitted to our face. There's different sizes to it. And it's fitted to our face so that it has a nice snug um, fit to it. But if you do have one, the way you place this on, it also has the two strings. You place this on and it cups and you put the top string on first, the bottom string on next and around, the clip snug around there. Make sure it's fitted to your face nice up under the chin here. Now, of course, glasses are on top. Oh, yeah. Now, I've noticed some people have purchased them and it's not the right size for their face because it's too large. So they've purchased them and they either purchased large or extra large because that was the only one available. And I've seen a lot of people walking around and they had the large ones. See, this fits nice and snug to my chin. If you have a gap up under here, you can put your finger in it. That's too large for you. That's too large. Okay? So you take it off. Take the bottom one off first. And take the top without touching it. Woo! So N95s are snug. And they're actually, as you can tell, as I was talking, sometimes you got to get used to it and it's hard to breathe for the room. So that's what the two different type of masks are. Make sure it's fitted around the nose, up under the chin, so the particles aren't going in. So that's the proper way to wear a facial mask 
during this pandemic <laughs> um, time. Just wanted to bring you that brief information. And you can find me at all social medias, Yvette McQueen MD. And of course, uh, my uh, lifestyle wellness at uh, stressandwellness.com. So, ciao for now. Stay safe. Stay home.